Hello everybody, this is <clears throat> Mr. Mango Head again, representing ATL PC Masters at BNC Computers. Um, I'm coming with uh, a video that talks about some of the parental controls that you have at your disposal built into Windows. I get a lot of uh, customers uh, coming with questions about what can they do to prevent a lot of the malicious software on their computers, the malware, things like that. And I say the number one thing you do is, you know, put some type of control on it. Um, a lot of times I find they have one account, which is the administrator account, and everybody that uses the computer uh, tends to, you know, do whatever they need to do, and there's no, there's no control. So today, we're going to show you how you can assign some control over other users and, and and one step towards having complete well you can't have complete but one step towards having a better uh, environment for your machine so it can stay functioning longer um, for everybody so the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> uh, we're going to the control panel whether you have Windows 8 or Windows 7 even Windows Vista it's all in the control panel, so we're going to go to the control panel, and uh, it might be different depending on the version of Windows you're running, but um, some computers it says users and family safety, and Windows 8 says user accounts. So we're going to go here. Uh, now Windows 8 is going to be a little different because you have your um, Windows uh, Live or Microsoft account. Um, so what we're going to do is click manage another account when I click manage another account we have set up family safety so we're going to click set up family safety and to use family safety um, to get reports of kids PC activity choose what they see online set time limits app restriction and more turn on family safety add a new child account or change an existing account to a child account in accounts to turn off family safety for an account change the account type from child to standard now this has been um, made a little bit more specific to children uh, in Windows 8 Windows 7 they really was trying not to discriminate they just you know standard user basic user and things like that but um, let's let's go to accounts manage another account so uh, like I said we're in a Windows 8 environment it's gonna look a little different uh, in Windows 7 but the concepts are the same um, we're gonna add an account now I'm gonna add a child account now for Windows 8 they have the Microsoft login so that's what you see here we say child's email address well let's say my child's three four and he doesn't have an email address and and he, he used computer for different apps and things for him so we're going to go down here add a child's account without email we'll click there username so i'm going to type nate and <clears throat> If you set a password, make sure it's easy for your child to remember. Um, one, two, three. A, B, C. One, two, three. A, B, C. Next. Hint. Counting. I don't know. All right, so next, and now we're finished. We we've added the user. Now it's a child account. So now we're going to click on Nate. We're going uh, to just set up an account for assigned access. Edit. Right here, standard user. It's not a child, but someone else you don't want to have administrator rights. Administrator child. Now cancel this so, so now that this account has been created we're going to go back to accounts and 
family safety. Ease of access, update recovery, PC settings. There we go. Family safety. All right. Manage settings on the family safety website. Ooh. We got to do all this. Click here to enter the most recent password. Uh, <clears throat> I have actually have another screen that you can't see. So uh, what I'm typing over here is all my credentials. So we don't have any issues. So what what see I have mixed feelings about having to go to a website to manage but um, I think what's good is that they can connect things like Windows Phone and Windows or Xbox and that same user if your kid has an Xbox account you would use the same account for the Windows 8 so um, that same user and the settings will kind of go everywhere across all of their Microsoft accounts um, or the devices that you use when you log in with your Microsoft account. So, uh, link family members. All right. And apparently, do, 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 do. Uh, all right. So, let me bring this window here so you can see it. Now you have activity reporting is on, web filtering, uh, turn off web fil filtering, and choose what Nate views online. Um, yeah, we want that on. So we're going to click that. Web filtering on, a uh, warn on adults. Allow all websites, but shows a warning when the site contains specific adult content. Uh, no, we don't want that at all. Um, block file downloads from the web. I think a lot of times it is it's very important that you don't allow your children to determine whether or not you can download XYZ from the web because at the end of the day this is what I tell my customers they're not going to be the ones coming to see me you are and a lot of times somebody from school or friend will come and say hey, go do this go do that computer gets jacked up you coming to see me because we didn't take the time to learn about this thing we bought that we spent so much money on we let our kids who obviously are a little bit more in uh, you know in tune with this, this technology than we are because we were around before this stuff was we let them do whatever they want and we don't take the time to learn just a little bit about how we can control it and this is what I'm doing now to show you how you can control it now I will say um, Doing all of this isn't as complicated in Windows 7 or Vista as Windows 8. And I'm not saying complicated. Um, Windows 7, you don't have to come here. It's just something you do in the control panel. Um, but uh, let's, let's go on. We can allow and block particular websites that we, we don't um, like. Uh, we can set time limits right here. You can use it from this time to that time particular apps that we don't want them using programs and apps we can sit there and click we don't want none of this stuff game restrictions a lot of games have ratings um, depending on the child's age I like to play Call of Duty Nate it's not for him rated M for mature can't play it um, a lot of parents just get games you know, you need to be on top of what your kid, what your kid is is is, is ingested into their system. Um, but that's not my job to tell you how to be a parent. But still, they have ratings for a reason. And if you are someone who care about ratings, um, you can control what ratings, what games that this uh, the computer will allow them to play. Um, or 
some games indie games may not be on the rating chart so you can select games based off the list and with the list you can say uh, -uh no not this one I don't want that one I don't want that one request when Nate wants access to something that's been blocked their request appears here for you to approve or deny awesome and uh, I think this is the most underutilized tool in Windows um, it's great for teaching discipline do what you gotta do this is the time you can use the computer the time you can't use the computer um, it's, it's it, I think it's, it's, it's an awesome tool um, like I said when, you're gonna go to the control panel user accounts now I will say this doing all of this don't mean nothing if you don't put a password on the administrator account and if you do have a password on the administrator account make sure they don't know it if you think they may know it change it as a matter of fact change it every so often keep it keep it mixed up so because if they have access to the administrator account they can come here and undo everything you just did and that's not something we want okay um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video I hope it has been of help to you and if you like it like it subscribe share comment and if you have any questions is there a particular video you'd like for me to uh, to, to, to make or questions you have specific questions that you have um, post it I, I'd be more than happy to take the time to make a video to answer specific questions uh, like I say this is what I do um, I'm pretty sure there's always somebody out there that, that, that knows more than me but I'm gonna do everything in my ability to answer your question thank you and uh, have a good day